What a great day to be on the internet. E3 just ended and the new Smash Bros. was announced. I think I will go and share my excitement with other Smash fans across the world. I will now start a wholesome discussion about one of the characters I want in the game. Greetings, people of the internet! I would like Ridley in the next Smash Bros. Man, this is great. I can't wait to share in the fun of Smash Speculate. Um, okay. Oh, whoa. Um, okay. Let's just calm down, guys. Um, okay. Let's just calm. Oh, well, please. Oh, please. No, no, no! <laughs> So yeah, Ridley, the infamous space pirate. If you've been involved in Smash Bros. speculation in any way, shape, or form, you've heard this guy's name come up. A lot. And in his wake, you've probably seen the torrent of hate and chaos his name brings. Regardless of what side you are on, you know that the arguments that result from this are tedious, fruitless, and infuriating. And they keep garnering attention, to the point that even Nintendo is joking about Pink Gold Ridley. And now the DLC has been confirmed, guaranteeing that these arguments are going to continue throughout this game's lifespan. So I thought I'd make this video to educate people on the rights and wrongs of the Ridley debate, and hopefully move the arguments along to something we haven't debated a half a million times. I'll be going through both the pros and the cons of the Ridley topic, and showing which are valid and which are not. Try to keep an open mind, will ya? Let's start with the most obvious one. Ridley being too big of a character to ever be playable in Smash Bros. People use this argument in a lot of different ways, and most of them are false. To those of you claiming that Ridley cannot be resized as a playable character, I would encourage you to watch this. And be warned, this may blow your mind. Ridley can be resized. To state otherwise is a blatant disregard to logic. Not only that, he can be resized as a playable character for Smash Bros, as many modders have already proven. Most of them look pretty terrible, but some, in particular this one, look incredible. By the way, this was made by a 14-year-old kid. As a hobby. Imagine what Sakurai and his developers could do. So, we know Ridley can be resized, that's a fact. But should Ridley be resized, that's another question entirely. And it's a question that some people have some very... vocal opinions on. But regardless of what your opinion on the matter is, if you think it's fine, that it would ruin his character, make him less scary, look weird, it doesn't matter. Until Sakurai actually says something on the subject, these are nothing more than opinions. They are all perfectly valid opinions to have, but they have been passed off as facts to so many people, even though they're based off of a bunch of made-up rules. Opinions aren't facts, guys. Sorry to break it to you. Alright, next argument. When asked if Ridley's a good choice to be playable in Smash Bros, most supporters will reference his popularity, claiming that tons of people want him playable, some going so far as claiming that he would boost the sales of the game. This is partially true, as Ridley is a very popular choice, among the people that actually speculate about Smash Bros. Take these two videos as examples, Relax Relax's Ridley debate, and Shokyo's Too Big video. Look at those views, that's a lot of views! Especially when compared to the millions of people that bought Smash Bros. Oh. Truth is that the speculation community of Smash Bros is rather insignificant to Nintendo compared to the masses that actually buy the game. Most people will buy it regardless of what character is or is not playable. If Ridley does become DLC, more people will buy him just because they get to play as a giant purple dragon, not because they can play as Ridley. This may change over time as Ridley garners more attention, or if another Metroid game gets released, but as of now, Adding Ridley in Smash Bros. wouldn't benefit Nintendo nearly as much as people like to claim. But wait, Ridley can't possibly be DLC, right? He's already a stage hazard on Pyrosphere, we can't have a stage hazard Ridley and a playable Ridley, right? Wrong! Disregarding that this is yet another made up rule, this is not actually Ridley. This is the Ridley from Other M, which is a clone of the original Ridley, growing from whatever the hell this is supposed to be into the Duckbeak Gorilla you see now. Just like the Donkey Kongs in 75 meters, and the Toon Links on the Spirit Track stage, these Ridleys are two separate entities. Is this difference enough? Possibly. It does have precedence, especially with the Duck Hunt stage with the exact same design- Wait, what?! Well, screw the rest of this segment, stage elements don't just confirm characters. Next! Besides being a giant purple space dragon, a lot of people want Ridley inside the game based on what he would represent. 
being another character from the Metroid franchise, and being a villain, both of which are things that Smash Bros. lacks. These are both fantastic credentials that don't seem to mean a damn thing when it comes to Smash Bros. When it comes to Metroid characters, it doesn't seem that the Smash team has any plans to add any other than Samus. Why? Remember back in Brawl? Height of the Prime series popularity Corruption had just released? Smash could have advertised that even more with Dark Samus, one of the Hunters, or Ridley himself. And what did the Smash team decide to put their development time and effort into? Mei Samus took her clothes off. That's just her in the Zero Suit, Snake. Instead of choosing Ridley, or one of Metroid Prime's characters, they opted to go with Zero Suit Samus. Your opinions on this may vary, but this kind of screws over the rest of the Metroid franchise. The Smash team felt it was more important to add in another version of Samus than a different Metroid character. And as for villains, well, they don't seem to be very important to Sakurai and his developers either. We only have a handful of playable villains, and most of them, apart from Ganondorf, really aren't villains. And even then, Ganondorf seems to be a little more than an afterthought for the Smash team. After three games, he's still a clone of a character that has nothing to do with him. So even though Ridley is a villain, and the only feasible Metroid character to be DLC at this point, these credentials really don't seem to mean anything when it comes to Smash Bros. And yes, he is the only feasible Metroid character at this time, and I will explain why. The Metroid characters that people mention the most after Ridley are Dark Samus and the Prime Hunters. Any of these characters would be pretty cool to have in Smash Bros, but if any of these characters were to be playable, they would have made it into Brawl. As of now, until any of these characters makes another appearance, there really isn't any point to add them as DLC. You have to keep in mind that the only way for another Metroid character to get in is through DLC, and there are only two ways I can see them making a Metroid character as DLC. For fan demand, a category that really wins over any other Metroid character, or to advertise a new Metroid game. If for some reason Ridley isn't in the next Metroid, and Slugs or Anthony is, I could definitely see one of them becoming DLC. But until then, Ridley is still the obvious pick for the next Metroid representative. There are a few more common arguments left, but they aren't nearly as complicated, so I'll go through them quickly. Ridley is a big dumb monster with no personality. I'm not entirely sure why this matters to get into Smash Bros, but Ridley is actually quite intelligent, smart enough to build a robot in his own image. He's even able to talk in the official Metroid manga. Personality-wise, Ridley is one of the most sadistic, violent, and narcissistic characters Nintendo has ever created. Not very likable traits, but definitely not the mindless beast people make him out to be. Ridley would be a Charizard clone, he has no potential moveset. I think the reason this exists is because Charizard and Ridley are both dragons, but this really isn't the case. Ridley has plenty of potential, command grabs, fireballs, and his elastic tail even more if they implement Meta Ridley. Look at the Ridley battle on Pyrosphere. Imagine if there was a character that could fly for extended periods of time, or attack while ledge grabbing, or break terrain. Imagine if they didn't resize Ridley at all, and made him Smash Bros's first giant character. A lot of this probably sounds broken, but that is what game balance is for. Many fighters have traits that could be considered broken, but they have other traits to balance them out. With all this potential, there really is no reason, other than laziness, for Ridley to be a Charizard clone. And finally, Sakurai thinks Ridley is better as a boss. I don't know. I'm not Sakurai. You're not Sakurai. Nobody really knows the answer to this. All of these arguments boil down to one thing. Is Ridley a possible candidate to be DLC for Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U? And, unless Sakurai specifically addresses the matter, saying he can't be, yeah, he is. We can all argue about size and movesets all we want, but at the end of the day, it's Sakurai's word that matters, not ours. As I've shown, it's not terribly likely at this point in time, and if it does happen, it probably won't happen for a while, but his chances are nowhere near as dead as they seem to be. If his popularity continues to grow, and or a new Metroid game is released, I would not be surprised to see Ridley make his way into the Smash Bros. roster. Thanks for watching. I realize that Ridley in Smash Bros. is a bit of a sensitive subject, and while I don't expect the comments to be entirely immune to flame wars, try not to let it get too out of hand. Those who do and do not want Ridley are already painted in a bad enough light as is, let's not further tarnish that reputation anymore. The majority of us aren't whiny brats and cyberbullies. Those are just a few incredibly loud, obnoxious people making the rest of us look bad. If you enjoyed this video, learned some things, or just really like Ridley, Please like, comment, and subscribe for future content. Or perhaps you didn't like this video. You despise Ridley, he killed your parents. Please hit the dislike button, leave a hateful remark in the comment section, and subscribe to hate in my future videos as well.
And if you wish to support Ridley as DLC for Smash, I'll put a link below to a petition asking for him to be in. Sup guys! This is the first time I've ever done any sort of video editing. I really enjoyed it and plan on making more. However, I realize I am nowhere near good at it, so please, if you have any advice or criticisms, I would love to hear them. Special thanks goes out to the Ridley Group and Smash Bros for helping me find some of the stuff I needed, in particular Big and Smash Bros for making the fantastic Ridley mod you saw. Thanks for watching!